Hey everybody, welcome to the Eerie Inn. Yeah, this is a little indie horror game that was picked by a patron of mine. Thank you, Francis. If you didn't know, I have a Patreon. Link is down there. There's different reward tiers, and you can get your name in my credits and pick games for me to play and stuff like that. It's, it's great. Uh, yeah, so this game is on Steam. It's $2.99. The Eerie Inn is a... God, this piano is going nuts. <laughs> The Eerie Inn is a mystery puzzle-solving horror game with a strong emphasis on the narrative. You play as one of the girls staying at a guest house, and your mission is to find out the truth behind the mysterious things happening there. You will soon realize that things aren't what they appear to be. Cool. Okay, let's just go so I can get away from that piano. Holy crap. Oof. Also, I have no idea how long this game is. I'm gonna collapse if we don't find somewhere to rest soon. <laughs> Ugh, give me a break. We've been walking for the last several hours, and we haven't seen a single motel yet. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find something soon. It will be worth the effort. Trust me. Whoa, well, what up, buddy? Be, something has to make up for the ten gallons. Nice potato truck. The last few hours. And potato face. Hello there. What are you two doing in the middle of the road by yourselves? Oh. You need a ride somewhere? Hi. Um. I think we're good, but thanks for asking. You don't sound like you're from around here. Not sure what brought you to this place, but I'll be honest with y'all. Ain't much around this area to entertain young ladies like you. Actually, we didn't come here for drinking or partying or anything like that. We're here for the nature side of things. We're big hiking fans. Better for the body and soul, you know? Well, it's getting dark. The voice acting in the lip sync is really good. The two of you seem pretty wasted. You guys have a place to stay the night or something? We've been trying to find a motel for a while now without much luck. Do you know of any place around here we can stay for a decent price? Yeah, there's a guest house a couple miles down the road. It was opened recently by a young couple, Thomas and Laura Kinsey, if memory serves. Met them once when they just moved in a few months ago. Came around to fix the electrical wiring in the building. Lovely people. I really like their little boy. Kind of tragic what happened to him. What? happened to him? I don't know the details, but rumors are he died in an accident while the family was on a short trip out of state. The boy couldn't have been more than five. Since the accident, the Kinsey shut themselves from the world. Whatever they need, they just order in. I guess you can't really blame them. The death of their boy must have been so hard on them. Good thing they kept the guest house open, so at least they get some passing visitors. I'm sure they'd be very happy to see the two of you. This dude is just dumping so you much info on me. Uh, yeah, I think we don't have much of a choice. You guys sure you don't want to ride? No, that's very kind of you, but we'll be okay to walk the last few miles. I understand. Can't be too careful with so many wackos running around nowadays. You and your shy friend take care of yourselves. Enjoy your Am I the shy friend? House. Bye. Adios. Later, dude. Let's go to the motel. It's getting dark. I like your macaroni and cheese colored fucking truck, dude. It's really nice. This is hilarious. I was not expecting this. I thought it was going to be just like, ooh, you're in a haunted Oh, wow. It looks a lot better than hotel. I expected. Yeah. Didn't expect the guest house to Ugh. look that nice. <laughs> Let's hope the inside will be just as good. Get. This is the friend, right? See what? Behind one of the windows. There was a oh, am I the friend? Thing. Uh, a man or a boy looking through the window. It was just there a second ago. Jen, I think the long journey is messing with your head. How about we go inside, get a room, and you go lie down for a so bit. So there was I no third friend. It was just it was the two of them. It was probably just one of the guests. I guess. I think I definitely need to lie down. I thought... <sighs> I thought that I was a third character. Do you mind getting the room? I'm too tired to do any paperwork. I don't like how I can turn the, my head around and see, like, my neck stump. I wish it was, like, all gross and gory in there. Like, you could see, like, the vertebrae. I feel like this game is made for VR. Click escape to bring up the screen menu options. We can save the game. Okay. To interact with people or objects, simply gaze at them or left click on the mouse. Make sure you're close to the objects. Okay. Okay. I still don't like how I can just see my next stump. 
What's up, dude? I'm gonna gaze at you. Okay, I'll click. <laughs> Hi, sorry to What is going on with his elbow? Second. What is it? Um, we'd like to book a room for two nights, please. How many? Uh, how many? What happened to the, the voice sync with the lips? Well, how many do you see? It's just the two of us. Don't try to be funny with me or I'll kick both of you out of my motel. It'll be a hundred dollars for two nights. Your room is up the stairs, first to your left. No breakfast served or any meal for that matter, so you better have brought some food with you. I'll need some ID from both of you. Oh, we can give you our driving licenses. I'm gonna keep those with me until you check out. Once I made sure you didn't do any damage to the room. This guy's customer service is... The room looks Mwah. really nice, huh? Can't wait to hit the bed. Yeah, me too. Quite happy with this place. Not so much with the hosts, though. Now he was one big asshole. <laughs> Didn't that guy we met on the road say the Kinsey's were a lovely couple? Well... You know what happened to them. Not sure I would behave any better in their position. But that's no way to treat your guests, especially So wait, that was ones. one of the owners? Yeah, I know. He's not just an employee? Let's just go wash up and get ready for bed. We have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. I'll go okay. take a shower first. Finally get to wash off all this sweat. <laughs> What's up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, goodness. I love this. Locked. All right. Hey, Jen, come check this out. I, I'm not going to watch you shower. Oh, there's two bathrooms. Nice. Look, what the hell is that? Wow, is that mold? I'm not sure. There's this oh, that. smell in the bathroom. I wasn't sure where it was coming from. Then I looked up and saw this monstrosity. We should tell the owners about this. I can't believe they take guests in with a bathroom in this state. Okay, you go talk to them. I've never oh, seen- and the shower head's broken. Could you ask if they have a spare one somewhere? Sure, I'll be right back. I haven't seen a shower head that's in the middle of the tub like this. That's weird. Usually it would be above this thing and this would be up against the wall. Hmm. Their plumbing don't make no sense. So yeah. Hey, everybody. What'd you say about my mouth? Locked. I really feel like this game's set up for VR. Which, I actually don't have a VR headset anymore. I need to get the new Oculus or something. What up, dickhead? Uh, this is the Kinsey's bedroom, so perhaps it would. I wish I could move. There we go. It'd be bet. Uh, be. It would not be the best idea attempting to open it. Okay. Oh, jeez, look at her. What up? Excuse me. Can I help you with anything? Hi. Sorry for the intrusion. This is my office. It's off limits to guests. Please leave now. If you need anything, just ask my husband. He's at the reception. Wow. These people fucking suck. God, they're the worst. All right, let's talk to this dickhead. Hi. I just saw a little boy run past my room. This place must be quite special if his parents preferred staying here to somewhere in town, huh? What, boy? You girls are the only guests at the motel tonight. What? I definitely saw someone. Look, I don't have time for this. Go to your bedroom. We're shutting the lights soon. There is a huge mold patch on the bathroom ceiling. Are you guys going to look into that? Ah, uh, yes, there's a leak in the attic. The rainwater's causing the mold to grow in some rooms. I'm getting it fixed soon. The shower head in the bathroom is broken, and we're not able to take a shower. You there's another bathroom. a new one in the storeroom. It's over there. You want me to do it? The guest? Okay. Imagine going to like, uh... I'll take this. Imagine going to like an Airbnb and they're like, Hey, all of our shit's busted. Fix it. 
Okay, so we got Transformers. These are just tin cans. Okay. I'll take that screwdriver. Do I have an inventory system? Okay, guess not. Um... Yeah, these are just... Do I need to take all these? Okay, so I'm just taking one at a time. Okay. Let's see... Oh, cool. Some... Ooh, that's a lot of... Uh, detergent, I assume? I don't know what you are, but I'll go and take one. I don't know what any of this shit is. None of these look like the... Share head. There we go. Cool. Time to go fix this dickhead shower. I love paying for... I love paying for a room and then having to do maintenance work for them. Alright, anything in here? The fuck? Alright. There's no sprinting or anything. If I hit... If I hit space, she stops. Oh, it's actually if I look down hard enough, or like fast enough. Uh, oh, there we go. What? What? Hi. Uh. Ah, there you are. Took you a while to get the shower head. Why is everybody so fucking mean to me? Mm, it doesn't seem to fit properly. I think we need something to properly attach it all together. Could you go downstairs and find something we could use? I hate you. Okay, so let's go back downstairs. I actually have the hook. Can I just go up the ladder? Or go up here, I guess. Someone boarded up the entrance to the attic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's in here? Oh, nice old kitchen. Excuse me? Got some whiskey and some whispering. More whiskey. A lot of dishes. Do you want me to do those too? <laughs> Alright, let's go figure out what I need. You know, let's talk to him. Maybe he'll tell me. He has nothing to say to me at the moment, huh? Okay. Hey, buddy, how do I fix your shit? So I got the shower head. Let's grab one of these. And like one of these cello tape. Grab some glue too. I think I have one of those stupid handles. All right. Maybe that's enough. I really wish I could sprint. <laughs> and I I thought maybe this is gonna be like a three in one video. Because I, I downloaded two other games, but I think this might be a little bit longer than I expected. And it's pretty fucking amazing so far. What? Oh, yes! I think Stello Tape will do just fine. Oh, okay. It works! Now we can finally take a shower. There was another bathroom right over there, by the way. You could have just... Finally! Time for us to get some long overdue sleep. So what took you so long to get the shower head? I waited so long I thought you'd forgotten about me. Fuck took off! Took me some time to find it. It may come as a shock to you, but Mr. Kinsey wasn't exactly very helpful in the search. What a surprise. I actually saw Mrs. Kinsey as well. Oh, how was she? I didn't get to speak to her much. She's I met her in her office next to the reception desk. She was very eager to get me out of there. Almost as if she was hiding something. I'm I really didn't get that feeling at all. I got oh, a feeling Jen, that she was just mean. Please promise me you won't be snooping around playing detective again. 
Oh, I think I saw a laundry room downstairs. Again? Since I'm already in my pajamas, do you mind taking our dirty clothes down there, please? You want me to do your fucking laundry for you, too? Sure. Sure. Let's go. Let's go do your fucking laundry. Absurd. Absolutely absurd. <laughs> Everybody's so mean to me. Do I have to go get detergent? Here, let's go to the storeroom, storage room. Get some detergent. These are all terrible people. How does she not realize she's being taken advantage of? Oh, I don't. I, I can't grab any. Okay. And like the sounds that keep happening. <laughs> Okay. Uh, did I just put a hundred dollars in there? And I got 75 cents back. Nice. Okay, let's throw a close in there, close the door, pop the coins in. And I hit it a button. <laughs> what in the name of God happened here? I just washed those bed sheets. Have you lost your mind? Get the hell out of here. I think I'm slowly losing my mind. I better go and get some rest. <laughs> <laughs> Exhausted. What the fuck? Exhausted after a long day of trekking. Jen quickly washed up and retired to bed. It wasn't long before she was fast asleep, her body and mind screaming for rest in equal measure. We've never had text like this before in the game, so why is this? Whatever. With the darkness of the night still surrounding the estate, her deep slumber was suddenly interrupted by a distant, eerie whisper. Hey, can you do the dishes for us? She's gonna sleep on top of the covers? Okay. Oh, if I hold click, it moves me forward. Interesting. So I really feel like this game is set up for VR. Spooky ass shadow above the shower. Hi. What up, you ugly little shit? Are you trying to point? Come on. I can't walk up to him. <laughs> Later, dude. Uh, is it still locked, though? It is. Okay. So let's go downstairs and get a key for it. Because now they're asleep, I bet I can just pilfer all their keys. The fuck? Don't run up on me like that. Oh, damn it. Uh. Oop. Okay, so I can't grab that. Okay. Locked. Cool. So I have a key that goes to a door somewhere. Is it going to be just this door? That would be very convenient. Okay. Thought so. Uh, I still don't know about like an inventory system or anything. Space? Z? X? <laughs> Okay. Tab? Shift? Nope. Okay. Yeah, none of the buttons bring up an inventory. Scroll doesn't do anything. Locked. Okay. I might be able to, like, go into their... 
bedroom. Yeah, okay. Um, let's try downstairs. Maybe a little furnace room. This is nice. What the fuck? <laughs> Why'd that scare me? Craven! Enter a passcode, okay. So what is all this? Uh, the door seems to be locked from the other side. All right. So I have a key and I just don't know what it goes to. I can't go in there because I need a password. Uh. Oh, Net Explorer. Income statements. Uh, file shows the okay income of May, February. Okay. Bills. Bill for an elevator insulation. How bizarre. There's definitely no elevator in this hotel. Bills for construction work for the last two months. Weird. No building work is visible anywhere around here. Cost of an exorcist visit uh, dating back to June of this year. Interesting. Okay. Miscellaneous. Exorcist. Spray all the rooms with holy water twice a week. Lock all unoccupied rooms at night. Uh, say a a prayer every day in the rooms with the highest intensity of visits. Okay. Various notes on the construction of some underground production storage area. Uh, study passcode is 3782. I'll write that down. So is that her office? The female owners? Okay. Anything else in here I can do? Besides... Uh... Pass.txt opens this. Receipt, uh, lien claim, residential control. Okay. I'll come back and read that later if I need to. So is it called password.txt? Alright. Uh... Three, seven, eight, two. Yeah. What the hell are you doing? Oh my gosh, Kendra, are you trying to give what me a What the fuck? Time? Where'd you come from? Good night. What are you doing down here? I'm trying to find one of the keys to the room upstairs. What? Why? What room? I just saw this boy just now. He walked into one of the rooms. He passed through the door as if it was made of thin air. I think it's trying to show me something. Jen, what are you talking about? You're creeping me out. Just come back to our room. If the Kinseys find us here, they'll kick us out. And I don't know about you, but I don't want to be outside in the dark in the middle of nowhere. I don't worry. I'll be you. super quiet. I'll be back in a few minutes. Suit yourself. I'm going back to bed. Fine. Are you going to walk up there or just appear? Okay. <laughs> Locked. I'm not going to comment on the gun. Okay, got some keys. Uh, identification card. Thomas Kinsey. So he is... How old is he? That would make him 39. Right? Yeah. Cool. Door is completely jammed. Alright. Locked. Locked. Uh... Do these keys open this drawer? Locked. Uh. I really wish I could examine the keys that I pick up. So I can figure out. Oh. Yep. Okay. Neat. Metal cabinet seems to be alarm protected. It could not be a, okay. Do I have to like Okay, so 
I tried clicking on the the actual lock. It doesn't do anything. So let's let's check up here. There we go. Okay, so I can't open that one yet. But I can't open these. Let's go and just open all of them. Cool. <laughs> Do they want me to clean this room up too? plugs are these? Are these European plugs? <laughs> what? Uh, looks like there's a little drawer there, but you're not able to pull it out. Someone forgot to put a handle on it. Okay, so I go downstairs and get a handle. I bet I can... Start. Butthole. That scared me. <laughs> I've been getting kind of jumpy lately with certain games. I don't know why. Locked. Alright. So let's go get a handle. What do the handles look like, though? Oh, I don't have a little box. Alright. So let's just go downstairs look for, like, any kind of little pull thing. Okay. And what'd she say when she hit me? Um. These aren't handles. Are you a handle? I have a screwdriver. There's a bunch of transformers. Sure, I'll just grab whatever. I really wish I could check my inventory. Because, like, I have no idea what I have on me right now. I think I still have the pulley thing for this. I don't. Okay. Okay. Oh, here we go. And then, does that push it forward on this side? Yeah! Okay, that's a clever puzzle. Here we go. What up, little kid? Oh, shit. Did you draw all over your bed sheet? Or is that blood? Spooky, spooky blood. Okay. <laughs> That's weird. I can grab the note through my neck. Excuse me. Oh, this music. January 12th, 2017. A new day, a new beginning. Today is the day we became the proud owners of... The Kinsey Inn. It has been a long and painful journey to get to this point, but we can finally leave behind the past and start our new life here. Free from prejudice, free from judgment, just the three of us and the love we have for each other. Always and forever. What judgment would you have? Uh, February 24th, 2017. Running a guest house is proving much harder than we expected. The work consumes every waking moment. Uh, we have. We can't afford to hire any helpers, so it's all down to me and Tom for the foreseeable future. Sometimes I really wonder if we didn't bite more... It, it says bit. If we didn't bite more than we can chew. We didn't bit more? Bite more, yeah. Uh, the daily grind is starting to take, a, take its toll on Tom's mental state. He's becoming more impatient and short-tempered. I've noticed that. But I know we will be fine in the end. We've been through much worse before, and as long as we have each other, we can get through anything. Okay. 
April 15th, 2017. It's been three years now since I last had any contact with my parents. I really wish things didn't turn out this way, but there was no way I was going to leave Tom. Not for anyone or anything. I love him so much. He's the heart beating beneath my chest. So what judgment were they talking about? Are they brother and sister or something? He's the heart... Okay, uh, I just wish some people were able to see past his background and judge him for who he really is. Tom was raised in an orphanage. Oh, okay. Uh, so he never knew his parents. It pains me to think that our son will grow up without any of his grandparents by his side. But he will always have us and our love. And when he is grown up and ready to see the world, he will always have a home to come back to. Okay. So there's nothing else in here. God, I, w I can't turn my body. I can't pick up that crowbar either. Okay. Hi. I can't see. Say help us? Having uh, had enough for the night, Jen swiftly locked all the doors she opened and returned the keys taken from the ground floor. She then retreated back to the relative safety of the girl's bedroom, only to find herself unable to fall asleep, her mind tormented by the events of the night. For a second, I thought you were never going to wake up. How are you feeling? Are you ready for our little hiking trip? I'm terrified. Give Why me you... a second to get myself ready. <sighs> Hurry! We want to catch as much of the daylight as we can. Okay. Get out of my I'm face. Coming. Bye. <sighs> Loading. I don't like how she just like appears in my face. <laughs> These scenes. Kendra, I know this will sound crazy. But I think the Kinseys are hiding something. Oh no. Did you look at stuff you weren't supposed to look at last night, Jen? Maybe. Well, I managed to get inside that room at the end of the hallway. I think it belonged to the boy. I found a few pages from Mrs. Kinsey's diary lying on the floor. Oh god, please don't tell me you read her personal stuff. Well, I, I couldn't help it. I didn't even know what I was reading at first. So, what did it say? Just some random stuff about her life. And actually quite a lot about her son. She must have loved him very much. Ugh, I feel so sorry for her. Well then, why do you think they're hiding something? Because I also found a metal rod covered in blood in the room, and the bed also had blood all over it. Do you think they did it? I don't know, but the ghost of the boy still haunts the house. I've seen it. At first hey, I thought it was hallucinating, but now I'm guy. sure what I saw was real. There must be some reason why the boy's soul is clinging to the motel and is not able to move on. Okay, okay, let's take a step she back here. High. Metal rod covered in blood. Like she looks Are you listening fucking to yourself, girl? Gosh, I told you it would sound crazy. What because up, dickhead? It is crazy. Now, what are you two arguing about? Everything okay there? Oh, hey. Yeah, everything is fine. Just saw a few strange things in the motel last night, and now my friend thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> well, you may not be the only crazy one. I did hear a story or two about that motel. Some disturbing things happen there at night. Oh. Why didn't so you tell so me that? Crazy after all, then. Last night. What or yesterday? What happened there at night? Heard some talk about a little boy appearing here and there. I always dismissed it as a figment of some people's overly wild imagination. But I'm hearing it so often now, I'm starting to believe it myself. Oh my god, now I'm seriously creeped out. Why didn't you tell us about it before? Yeah, why? I'm sorry about that. I, I just thought that was crazy talk. And you told us the Kinseys are such a nice couple. Well, guess what? They're not. Yeah. Mr. Kinsey in particular was very difficult to deal with. Typical rude redneck. Wait. Uh. What? Pause. You heard me. No, oh, really? Never mind, I can't. Redneck. Um, are you sure we're talking about the same person here? Yes. Thomas Kinsey, white dude, average height, mid 30s, skinny man with a lot of attitude. Guys, I met Mr. Kinsey in person when he just moved to this area with his wife and son. Thomas Kinsey. He's an African-American, and he definitely ain't no skinny man. His arms were the thickness of my whole body. Whoever you met in that motel was not Thomas Kinsey. What? Are you messing with us? I promise you, I am not. I'm not big on jokes. But I saw his photo ID. It showed his picture on it. That wouldn't be too hard to forge, darling. You two should be very careful when you go back there. 
That guy that's posing as Thomas Kinsey, whoever that is, could be dangerous. I don't think I want to go back there anymore. Let's just leave and find a different motel. We can't just leave. He still has our driving licenses. How do we get them back without looking suspicious? I think I know where they keep it. It's in the metal cabinet inside their study, but it has an alarm system installed in it, and I have no idea how to turn it off. You can try switching off the electricity to the building. The power switch is in the basement, but it's passcode protected. I was actually the one who set it up for them. I can't remember what it was, but I must have written it down somewhere. I need to go back to my office and do some digging through my notes. My number is 0662222671. Just give me a call later on today. Okay. Also, see if you can use your phone to send me a picture of his photo ID. I have a friend in the local police force who may be able to find out who the imposter is. I'll give it a go. But I will have to wait until very late in the evening when they have gone to sleep, so I can sneak into their study. Understood. By the way, don't try to take a picture of him directly. You can get in danger if he sees you doing it. I'll wait for your call tonight. Be extra careful, girls. Thanks so much for your help. Adios. Hi. Sorry, I had a phone call. The girls made their way back to the motel and waited patiently for their host to fall asleep. Deep into the night, their escape plan was finally put into motion. Alright, so... Okay, Hi. you go downstairs and do your usual breaking in stuff and I'll start packing our things here. Okay, see you in a bit. Aren't our things like already packed? Alright. Uh... Boop. What was this code? 3782? There we go. The gun moved. Nope, there's two guns now. What's wrong with my hair? Wasn't she a brunette? Did you get the picture? Yep. I'll do some research on this guy now. I'll let you know as soon as I find out something. <laughs> oh, and the passcode to turn off the power is 6444. Got it. Speak to you soon then. Bye. 6444. Got it. <laughs> cool, so I got a gun. Fucking neat. Okay. Um, do I need to go get her keys again? Okay, I guess not. All right, let's go turn the power off. Oh boy. Is that little shit gonna be back there? To spook me? Okay, uh, 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 uh. Sweet. So now that safe is going to be open since I killed the power? Hi. Oh. Do I need to... Hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I got a key. Oh, I got a lot of keys. Front doors. Something. Something. Safe combination. I'm going to write this down. Uh, left six. Right two. Left something. Right something. Left something. Okay. Oh, here. Let's uh, let's save my game. What the fuck? Why do they have? <laughs> what? 
Are they a militia? Okay, so that's the safe I need to find a combo for. Um, let's try you. There we go. Really? I can't. I... There's nothing in there for me to open or to get, even though I used a key? Sure. How is this... The power's off. How... Okay. It's fine. Whatever. Um... There is one room down this way I haven't opened. There's also the front door keys I can use. I have to find the driving's license uh, and let Kendra finish packing. But I did find it. There's the whole cutscene about it, right? Remember? <laughs> I guess I just leave. Like, should I just go unlock the front doors? Okay. Duh. Oh. Cute. There's a big fucking cellar. Locked. All right. Again, I really wish I could sprint. I really just want to... Oh, I can even go that way. <sighs> Am I supposed to just leave? Because I can't go that way. Okay, so I guess the only reason why I'd come out here is to unlock the cellar. Should I go turn the power back on? Okay, so the only thing I think I can do is this safe. So here, let's try six, two, okay, so now, okay. Let's try four, okay. Hey, there we go. Laboratory. And a shit ton of money. Okay. Let's go outside and go down this thing now. Uh, I kind of brute forced that code. Like, I probably just sat there for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Hitting numbers. If you're looking this up randomly through search and you're looking for the code, the code is left six, right two, left two, Right four, left one. There you go. Fuck. Okay, laboratory key. And then this will probably open up that little crawl space in the basement. Are they making meth? Ew, is that the bent neck lady? Ah, oh, that reminds me of the creepy painting thing from uh, the new it, the it reboot, it chapter one. You know what I mean? One of the kids is scared of the painting. Is my FPS dropping down here? No, it's fine. Never mind. There we go. So now I can leave. I feel like they're making some kind of drogas down here. Okay, so it's three.
Okay, so one, or three, four, two, one. Creepy bent neck lady picture. <laughs> oh. Um, what? Power supply. I blew the transformer. Okay, so R1, R2. Okay, so power supply is 220. The elevator was 110. Would that be 21? I need a Okay. So, I'm gonna need a transformer that's two over one, I think. If I'm mathing right, I could. Oh, right, loading screen. <laughs> Trying to figure out why there was a loading screen. Like, because we're in a different area, duh. I, hmm. Yeah, I think that's right. Look for a transformer that's two over one. Or two colon one or something. Yeah, you? I really... I hope that's it. If not, then I'll cut to whatever it is. This has been a lot better than I was expecting. There are a few, like, really funny, charming things. Like the... <laughs> Just... You know what I mean. Like, the, the dialogue, the weird friend appears and scares the shit out of me thing. It needs subtitles. Boop. Okay. There we go. Yep. Okay, so now I'm in the attic. Can I open these? Nope. Okay. Can I hop on the dolly? Take the chests. Need to pry it open. Okay. Um, hey, there's a pry bar right here. Bong. <laughs> this must be them. The real Kinsey family. The mold in the bathroom ceiling. It was their blood seeping through the attic floor. Oh gosh. Mm. Hello? Hey, it's me. You're not gonna like what I'm about to tell you. So the guy posing as Thomas Kinsey is actually a fugitive going by the name of Cez Dion. He was serving a long-term sentence for drug trafficking, but managed to escape from prison about three months ago. The woman posing as Mrs. Kinsey is most likely Donna Withams, Dion's girlfriend who was on trial for her involvement in her partner's business, but she too ran off before the conclusion of the trial. It all makes sense now. I'm in the attic of the motel. It's overflowing with drugs. And... I think Are these I the drugs? the bodies of the whole Kinsey family. Oh, God. I'm coming over with the police. You girls <laughs> just stay put. Oh, and God. Be very careful. Just don't draw any attention to yourself. Okay. See you in a bit. Oh, God. How about this box? <laughs> Nothing? No. Okay, so I guess I can't pry this up. down there. I guess let's go ahead and leave. Oh. 
So now I probably just need to go back inside, get my friend, and be like, yo, let's fucking bounce. <laughs> That's my oh that, that's right. Because that's my plan so far. I'm trying to think of what else I can do. The only thing that I haven't done yet is go into the the bedroom. There was that one bedroom down at the end of the hallway I haven't opened yet. Where do you think you're going, little bird? <laughs> Jen, let her go. Why does he sound so old? Yeah, do you even know how to use that? Put it down before you hurt yourself. I have to say. You two looked like a lot of trouble from the moment I saw you. You could have just minded Why he your talk own like that? business, but instead you started snooping around. Now look what you got yourself into. It didn't have to be like this. Whoa! 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 Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what are you doing here? I I I shot them. They were going to kill us. Are you are you girls okay? Yeah, we're fine. We just saw the ghosts of the I can't, family. I can't. I think with their killers gone, they're fine. <laughs> this is so, too good. You think all the haunting will stop from now on? Yeah, I think so. Well, <laughs> that's good to know. Whoa! What? You see, the thing about the drugs business is that everyone thinks it's lots of easy money, but it's tough, you know. And sometimes you just want to keep all the profits to yourself. I guess with my partner Bobby Hill just killed me. Killed by you, I don't have to worry about the sharing part anymore. Shh. I know it hurts. Just try to relax. You'll be over soon. Dang it, Bobby. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness that was a fucking treat that was that was that changed me as a person i am a different i am a different man than whenever i started this journey my goodness, that was amazing. Oh. Alright, everybody. That was the Eerie Inn. Thank you so much to Francis for picking this. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're on a roll. <sighs> My goodness. I, I have no words. If this game had subtitles and you could pause it, mid cutscene like if it just if it had a little bit more polish then I think that this game would be like legitimately really good just right now it's just like kind of eh, the game like it's kind of like it just feels weird playing a little bit because I think it's meant for VR and just like oh my god the story was batshit absolutely batshit but I loved it sorry what'd you guys think leave a comment my goodness yeah and if you want to support me on patreon links in the description you can join my Discord server, get your name in my credits, pick a game for me to play, etc, etc. Help me pay my bills while YouTube keeps screwing me over with ad rates. Yeah. Yeah, ad rates are currently about, like, a fifth of what they were last year. So, yeah. I'm having a little bit of a tough time right now, so that's why I'm pushing Patreon so hard. Because YouTube just doesn't know what it's doing anymore. Anyways. I'm gonna go before this piano drives me insane. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys next time. Love you. Goodbye.